Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Destination FBA and my name is Emma. So in a previous video, we looked at all the equipment you might need if you're gonna get into Amazon FBA. So today I thought we'd take a look back over that equipment again and I could show you where you could source these items from. So whether you're doing OA, RA or wholesale, everything will need the same equipment and the same prep requirements. So I'll rerun through the items now and show you where I purchased all of mine from. So the first item is a hairdryer. So I'd imagine that most of you have a hairdryer laying around the house. Now it doesn't need to be anything fancy. This is just for when we have stubborn labels, clearance labels or sales labels. If we gently heat the area up, it should lift really easily. Now if you don't have a hairdryer, you can pick these up for around £10 in Argos. And even a compact travel hairdryer would do the job. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. The next item I use is sticky stuff remover with a microfiber cloth. So if you've used hairdryer to lift a label and there's still a bit of residue, I'd recommend getting yourself some sticky stuff remover. Now there's plenty of different ones on the market, but this is the one that I got and it was £5 from Amazon. Next item we'll need is poly bags. So I like to keep a selection of different bags in and the most common ones I buy are 8 by 10 inches, 10 by 12 inches and 12 by 16 inches. And as a general rule, I poly bag anything that's small and anything where you can physically touch the product. Now you need to be sticking to Amazon's prep requirements, but you also need to protect your goods. So I probably poly bag a little bit more than what I need to, but I do worry about dirty conveyor belts. By poly bagging as many items as I do, I think it does help to reduce my returns for damage. So I buy these from a company called SR Mailing, and for 100 bags, 8 by 10 inches, I pay £1.99. So this is much cheaper than Amazon, but postage is £7. So make sure you're buying in bulk so you can save on postage costs. So the next item is bubble wrap. Now, I don't buy this too often, but I do buy 100 meters at a time when I do order it, and this will generally last me a few months. Now, this was £14.99 on Amazon, and with Prime, I got free shipping. So the next item you'll need is tape and dispensers. So if I'm prepping items like shampoo or body wash, then I tend to put a bit of tape over the lid just to prevent any leakage during transit. So I always buy this from Home Bargains or B&M and pay around a pound for three rolls. We're also going to need brown tape for when we're packing the boxes. And again, I try to buy this in bulk. I normally buy a minimum of six rolls of 92 meters at a time. And again, I buy this from SR Mailing. So order this at the same time as your poly bags and then you're saving on postage costs. They also sell tape dispensers like these, but I would recommend buying these from Amazon because they're only actually about seven pounds. So next you're going to need boxes. Now I buy all my boxes from Kite Packaging. I have looked around at other manufacturers, but they all tend to be around the same price. Before you go out and buy any boxes though, I would say look on your local Facebook sites because there's always people giving them away. Um, just last week I picked up around 50 cardboard boxes, all double walled, from someone that was moving house that just wanted rid of them. So always keep an eye out because it will save you a lot of money. Now there's been times where I have been really desperate for boxes and I've needed them next day and I've ordered them from Amazon. They are quite expensive doing it this way, it cost me about £3 a box. So do try to be prepared and make sure you have plenty to keep you going. Another item I use is brown paper. Now when you're packing boxes and you've got big gaps to fill, I would recommend using brown paper. It's cheap and it's eco-friendly and whenever you receive parcels, always make sure you save all the packaging because you can reuse that too, which is going to save you money in the long run. Then you're going to need a tape measure. Again, you don't have to get anything fancy, but you can pick these metal ones up on Amazon for around five pounds. And then once your items are all measured, you're going to need scales. Now I used to use bathroom scales, but these are really no good when you get into heavy items. You don't want to be lifting boxes of 20 kilos. So I actually invested a few months ago in some industrial scales. Now these have a separate reader, which makes it so much easier. You can actually pack your boxes and keep an eye on the weight at the same time. Now these ones again were from Amazon, they cost me around £32, but they are industrial, so they will take up to 50 kilos of weight. So the next item we're going to need is labels. Now we're going to need two different sets of labels when it comes to prepping. We're going to need our labels for our products and then our labels for our shipments. Now I like to buy these top stick labels. So they have 44 to a sheet and they come in packs of 100 sheets in total. Now these are currently about £9 on Amazon with free shipping if you have Prime. And then the shipping labels, I buy in boxes of 500 at a time. And I buy these from SR Mailing again. And they cost me around £25, but these have lasted me for months. Always buy in bulk where you can, because you will see the saving in the long run. The next item is barcode scanner. So this isn't a necessity, but it does make it easier when you're scanning lots of items in for UPS to collect. 
So rather than typing all the shipment numbers, you can just scan them all one at a time. Now you can also use this to add new products into Amazon. Now you can pick these up for around £20 on Amazon. And then the final item you're going to need is a printer. Now you're going to need this to print all of your labels and the laser jet is always recommended because if the ink gets wet, it won't run. So I'm currently using this HP LaserJet 200. It was quite expensive when I bought it, but I've had it for a number of years and it's still going strong, so definitely worth the investment. So I hope this has helped you with all the equipment you need and where you can purchase it from. Now most of it can be bought from Amazon, but at the end of the day it's really important to look around and get the best price you can. Now every little bit really does add up, so if you can reduce your costs, you will be increasing your overall profit. If you found this video useful, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any recommendations yourself, please do pop them in the box below. If you'd like to see any more videos like this, please do subscribe to the channel because there'll be lots coming soon. Thanks very much for watching. Take care.